Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is how factor pairs relate to the product. Here are the factors of four. Let's take a closer look at them. We can think of four as one group of four, and at the same time, we can also think of it as two groups of two, because it's equal to both two groups of two and one group of four. That's what we see when we look at the list of factors. Here are the factors of six. We can think of six as one group of six, and at the same time, we can also think of it as two groups of three, because it's equal to both two groups of three and one group of six. That's what we see when we look at the list of factors. Here's another example, another list you will find on your page of factor pairs. Since all of these pairs are factors of 12, we know they are all related to 12. 1 times 12 is equal to 12, and at the same time, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And at the same time, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. We can also say that 12 is equal to 3 times 4, and 2 times 6, and 1 times 12. Some people see these as separate ideas. They see this as one idea, this as a different idea, and this as still another separate idea. And others realize they are all connected. This idea is connected to this idea, which is connected to this idea. Now, the screen is very crowded, the picture is very busy, and there's a lot to look at. But the idea is that these factor pairs are all connected to each other because they are all connected to 12. When you see triangles or factor pairs, remember that they mean more than they might appear to. Let's look at another example. Let's examine the number 18. We know that 18 is equal to 1 times 18. So we also know that it is equal to 18 times 1. 18 is also equal to 2 times 9. So we know that 9 times 2 is equal to 18. 18 is also equal to 3 times 6, so we know that 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Since all of these pairs are factors of 18, we know they are all related to 18. 1 times 18 is equal to 18, and at the same time, 2 times 9 is equal to 18, and at the same time, 3 times 6 is also equal to 18. We can also say that 18 is equal to 3 times 6, and 2 times 9, and 1 times 18. Some people see these as separate ideas. They see this as one idea, this as a different idea, and this as still another separate idea. But others notice something else. They notice how they are all connected to the product. In this case, how they are all connected to 18. Even though the pairs are different, they are all tied to the same product, 18. Which leads us to one more question. If these pairs are all related to the same product, then are the pairs related to each other? We'll find out the answer in the next video, and you might be surprised at what you find. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitehorning, and this is How Factor Pairs Relate to the Product.